FlickFinder is looking pretty good. We have almost everything rigged up and ready to go, but you may have noticed one of the same problems that I have, and that's that we're not really doing a full search of Flickr's images. We can see this pretty quickly if we start playing around in Flickr's API Explorer. For example, let's take the search term baseball. I've searched this term before, so I know that it's going to return a large number of results. So we'll go ahead and search. So as we can see, there are about 14 million images that are returned, which make up almost 100 and let's see, 146,000 pages. And we're looking at page one, and we're only looking at the first 100 images. So if we're using a query like this, this means that with our current implementation, we're only going to be returning one random image, say this image, from this group of 100, which is not at all representative of the 14 million images that are getting returned for this particular query. So fixing this problem seems pretty straightforward, right? We would just need to select first a random page. So we'd have to do two queries. We could select a random page, and then we can select a random image from one of the random pages. Because if you scroll up here to the top, or I'm sorry, not the top, but just right here, we can see that we can actually specify the page that we want returned. So in theory, this approach should work. However, when I tried implementing it myself, I ran into a problem because I didn't read the documentation very carefully. So if you take a look at the documentation, somewhere in here, the documentation specifies a maximum number of images that can get returned by any particular search. So what was happening for me is when I picked a random page number that extended beyond the maximum number of images that can get returned, Flickr just kept giving me the last possible page that didn't exceed that limit. Oh, let's see, this problem took me maybe an hour or so to figure out. I just kept banging my head into the wall and I did not read the documentation. I probably could have saved myself a lot of time. So these kinds of setbacks are common and they usually require us to look at deeper into the documentation. So I've already solved the problem ahead of time, but I'm going to have you look through the documentation and answer the same questions and, and gather the same information that I did in order to come up with the solution. So the first question was, what is the maximum number of images that Flickr will return for a given search query? Then, if the per page argument's not specified, then how many of the images are actually returned per page? And then last, what is the highest page number returned by a query that gives us the maximum number of images? So you'll want to use your answer from number one, then figure out how many images are returned per page, and then you'll be able to make a determination about the highest page number that we can actually use given a query.